welcome back to the channel seeing some of the amazon prime deals today i thought i would make a real quick video to give you some comparison in, in case you're in the market for a graphics card to see if you're actually getting a good deal so this is not a comparison video this is just pertinent is it a good deal or not the way i find to do this is if we look at ebay prices versus sale prices you begin to notice which graphics cards are good deals and which ones are not so without further ado all of these searches will be linked in the in the comments section below let's just jump right in and start comparing prices now i'm not going to do specific brands i'm just going to do generic uh model numbers so there's going to be no i'm not looking for a gigabyte radeon we're just going to do generically here just to see if you're getting a good deal on this so let's just jump right in like i said so if you buy this gigabyte radeon rx 7900 xtx on amazon it's now 899 with a coupon if you compare that to eBay prices, you can get one. Th this one, I believe, is is a fake auction. But if you compare it to eBay prices, you can get one at eight seventy plus tax. Uh, so call it eight ninety. I would buy one new before I would save fifteen bucks on a used one, and so I would call that an excellent deal. All right, let's look at the sixty six fifty XT. So you can get one of these for around 250, 260 used. So if you can get one new at 239, I'd say that's a good deal. Moving on to the 4070 from Amazon, checking eBay. It's about 560 for the cheapest one. And if it's 599, that's a $40 difference there. I'd say even that's a pretty good deal. Let's keep trucking right on. We got the RX 3060. So the RX 3060, uh, is about 215 used and it's 259 new again that's for the 8 gig model um, again that's saving 30 40 dollars I would probably just buy it new the RTX 3050 is around a little less than 200 and if it's a little less than 200 that might actually be a good deal to get you so 259 these cards don't run really hot, so if you can get one and save 60 bucks, I don't know if that wouldn't be worth it. All right, moving right along. So Newegg has the RX 6950 XT, and if we look at one on eBay, there is a pre-owned for 560, and if it's 600 new, I would probably go with that one as well. All right, so we've got another sale popping up for the RX 6800 at 449. And these are coming in at uh, 388, so less than 400. That might be worth actually buying used and saving 60, 70 dollars on that. Moving right along, we have the 6650 XT, and that is 260, and it's 259 new. So that one's the one that you would definitely uh, behoove you to buy new because the pricing is basically the same. RX 6750 XT, if we search for that, it's 340 used and 309 new. I, th I think we got a winner. I think this is, I think this was a much better deal. If that's the cheapest one you can get used. Uh, if you want a 6750 XT, I'd call that a steal of a deal. 6500 XT. Um, this is a generic Dell one for 120 ish. And so 159, I would probably say, I mean, if you really want a good deal on one, this is not a very powerful graphics card, to be honest, but eh, 115 versus 160. I don't know. I'm like, I might go, with it. I might go used on that one, say 50 bucks. Last but not least, you got the ARC A750 from 249 or yep, 249. And if we look, you can get one at what, 200. So you could say 50 bucks on that. That might be worth it. Well, I hope this information helped you out. I hope you can find some good deals during Prime Day if you like these types of videos. I've been building computers for over 20 years. I've got many, many gray hairs that I've earned getting ripped off. It's my goal to help you save money, help you be educated, and help you get the best deal. If you feel like you're getting something out of this, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell icon as I will be pumping out several more videos between now and Christmas helping you get Lots of good deals. Thank you very much.